Hi, Johnny here. Uh, pets have been out for a little while now and a lot of people ask me to make a video about them, so there we go. Uh, pets are hatched from eggs in your pet yard. Uh, they belong to certain families, uh, they have different abilities, and they fuse together to make different pets. Uh, the common and uncommon eggs can be found in Godlands somewhat frequently, so there's no reason at all to ever buy them uh, in the Nexus shop. Uh, just grind until you find what you're looking for, or trade with other players for them. Um, the eggs come in different families. Uh, all functional pets belong to a certain family, and this is important for two reasons. Uh, the first being fusing. Uh, you can only fuse pets of the same family, which will then result in a new pet of the same family. Uh, Crossbreeding is unfortunately not allowed. Uh, the second reason has to do with the different abilities the pets have. Uh, the pets have three abilities. The tier one pet, the uh, common ones, uh, have one. Uh, they have only one uh, of the abilities uh, unlocked. Uh, the second unlocks at tier two, the uncommon uh, tier, uh, and the third at tier four, the uh, legendary. Uh, to clarify, there are five tiers of pets. Tier 1, the common, tier 2, uncommon, tier 3, rare, tier 4, legendary, and tier 5, divine. Anyway, um, the tier 1 and tier 2 pets, uh, the common and uncommon, uh, always have the same first ability because they're based on the same sprite. Uh, the tier two, 1 and 2 share the same pet sprite, and uh, tier 3 and 4 share the same, and tier 5 has its separate one. Um, so, um, this means that like a rare reindeer looks the same as a legendary one. There's no difference in the sprite. Uh, anyway, um, the first ability of the pet is a lot faster and cheaper to max than the second one, and the second one is faster and cheaper to max than the third one. Uh, this means that you want the ability you hope to max first in the first and second slots. Um, the available abilities are Heal, Magic Heal, Electric, as well as Attack Close, Mid and Far. Uh, heal obviously heals your heals you, your HP. Uh, magic Heal restores your, your MP. Uh, electric paralyzes your enemies. Uh, and the different attacks, uh, Attack. Um, both Heal and Magic Heal are clearly the two best abilities for your pet, unless you're doing something very specific. Uh, meaning these should be in the first two slots of abilities. Uh, I would argue that putting heal in the first one is better because there are soft caps on mana based on the mana usage of the different class abilities. Um, what you put in the third slot is up to you. Uh, I chose to go for an attack as I didn't want electric. Uh, electric paralyzes your enemy when your pet is on top of it and uh, it makes the game less predictable in my opinion uh, and I also don't like things that are not predictable. Uh, I've read quite a few posts about people saying it's not horrible, the electric that is, uh, but I argue that its use is way too situational and the cons outweigh the pros. But it's well, of course up to you. Um, the abilities of the pets have caps on them meaning they can't be raised above a certain point without being fused with another pet. Uh, tier 1 pets are kept at 30, uh, tier 2 at 50, tier 3 at 70, tier 4 at 90, and tier 5 at 100. Um, you advance to the next tier of pets by fusing two, two pets of the same uh, tier and family. Uh, to level your pet, you feed it items. Uh, and only when you no longer can level it up uh, do you fuse your pets. Uh, fusing without the max stat causes the next tier of pet to have a lowered stat cap, which is obviously no good. You want to have a, the normal stat cap. Uh, the higher tier your uh, pet is, the more fame or gold it costs to feed your pet. Uh, oh, and uh, also you have to upgrade your pet yard to be able to fuse higher tiers of pets uh, the, invent, uh, the interface should be fairly self-explanatory there. Um, yeah, I think that should be the basics. 
So now let me tell you how I crafted my pet, my elf. I looked at the first abilities of the different pets and it became quite obvious that the only eggs to hatch were the humanoid ones, seeing as there is only the uh, tier 1 slash 2 sprite. Uh, and it has the heal as its first ability, always. Uh, meaning I don't have to roll that dice. Yay. Predictability. Uh, so the only roll I had to make was the second one and the third one, uh, which really doesn't matter as there are no alternatives to hatching humanoid eggs. Uh, getting magic heal as the second ability was uh, 1 in 5. I think not getting electric would be 3 in 4 after that, resulting in like 15% chance of getting the right combination each human on egg. Uh, so I got to hatching. I finally got my heal, magic heal, attack pet. Uh, maxed it up to 30, maxed another one to fuse it with, resulting in tier 2 pet, so on. Uh, max it up, max it up, fuse with another. Uh, ending in a tier 3 plus tier 3 fuse, resulting in my tier 4 pet. Uh, having maxed the tier 4 pet, I don't think I'll be maxing another one, uh, just so that I can raise the stat cap, seeing as it's quite costly. Uh, even spending the same amount I have so far would only result in a different sprite with the exact same stats. So that's of no use to me at all. Uh, to max the stats of a divine pet is simply too expensive for my taste. So I think that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Oh, I think I forgot to mention that the uh, abilities you want to be, ke be keeping of your pet, you put those in the left when you're fusing. The things on the left will always be kept for the new tier. Yay!